How do I use be bound to do something? Example, imagine you're in London. It's a nice sunny day. You're happy, right? Ah, lovely sunny day. But your friend, she's more realistic. She knows this is London. And she knows that every time it's the same. It's sunny one minute, rain the next. She knows that definitely, it's definitely going to rain. And this is why we'd use be bound to do something. You wanna say ah, it's definitely going to, I know it will happen that's when you use be bound to. So we change, it's definitely going to. We've already got it is, that version of be, so we keep that. But definitely going to, we replace it with bound to. So the whole sentence, it's bound to rain. Again, you wanna say mm, definitely going to rain, it's bound to rain. Because you know in London, one minute it's sunny, The next minute it rains, how sad. Another example. Everyone has that one friend who always cancels. For example, I have an asshole friend called Paul. And let's say you receive a message from Paul. Ah, Paul's coming to the party, cool. But then you remember, nah, my friend's an asshole. And you want to say, eh, yeah, but he'll definitely cancel. Again, will definitely is definitely going to. We're talking the future. Replace it with be bound to. What do you think it is? So remember, it's a he, he, she, it. Third person with be, so he is. He is, we want to say definitely it will happen. He is bound to. And the verb stays in the infinitive. Ugh, he's bound to cancel. How would you use this in the negative? Well, we just put not before the verb. So we could just say, uh, he's bound to not come. Or we could say he's bound not to come. That's also possible. Okay, test time. Again, you're in London, you want to take the tube. What's your favorite tube station? You go to Oxford Circus, you want to get on the tube, but it's like 6 or 7 p.m. And everyone knows at 6 or 7 p.m. at Oxford Circus, the train is full of people. British way to say full of people? Packed. You'd say the train is definitely, definitely going to be packed. How can you say this? The tube is an it, he, she, it, third person. What's the verb? Packed is an adjective, so be packed. Um, other ways to say full of people, packed, rammed, so busy, crowded, packed, rammed. Those are very British ways of saying full of people. The tube is bound to be packed. It's bound to be rammed. It's rush hour. Eh, I'll take the bus. So please subscribe and click here to watch another video. If there's an expression in English that you don't understand, leave it in the comments, we'll make a video for you. See you in the next class, bye. For example, if you lose your job because your breath is really awful, your boss might say, well, we had to fire you because of, due to your bad breath.